Hey, how's it? This is the foundation. Coming at you at a mid-season talking. Um, eight games in. We're three and five. Can we turn this around? Not looking good, but, you know, all we need is a few things to fall our way. Um, I forgot I accidentally did deleted this video so oops going the wrong way uh just want to get this part of the video mm, hang on i gotta pause on for a little while but yeah for the most part our defense has kept us in games but too many mistakes either wide receivers tipping up the ball not getting you know not getting open Offensive line penalties and everything like that. Anyway, let's start off with Dandy Don Meredith. <laughs> so great, great guy. <laughs> Took a lot of heat for a lot of years, but um, but also always a great. They, they had stories about him, about him um, in the booth, um, even more popular than Tony Romo at the time with Howard Cosell. <laughs> and here's a guy that doesn't get enough recognition as well. Don Perkins. <laughs> man, he was through the dark years, man. Oh, that was tough for him. <laughs> and one of the best defensive backs we ever had. I think he still holds a record yet. Mel Renfro. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let's see if we get any nice quotes. But defensively, yeah, you know, like... um. Like the Titans game. Like the Titans game, you know. We get turnovers, but then we don't capitalize. But that's one thing. That's one thing, you know, we, us as a, um, as a defense, they need they need to be more of that. If you want to be the, one of the best defenses, you have to you have to be one of the, you know, you have to take away the ball and everything like that. So here's a quote from Tom Landry. I said I was gonna get this done before I leave today. Uh, I never realized I'd accidentally accidentally deleted it. <laughs> but that sucked. <laughs> She's like blocking people's ways. They're trying to keep it clean, nice and clean for everybody here. So I'm going to be skipping around a little bit. But let me see if you younger fans can get this one. Okay, who's this? Number 70. Ah, refilled right. <laughs> ah, you guys talk, yeah? What a guy that to have on your team. One last person. Probably our best, greatest offensive lineman in the NFL. Personally, you know, like if you before he got injured, I thought Eric Williams was going to be the greatest of all time. But Larry Allen, there you go. Yeah, so if we like being a better team, I mean, yes, Dak needs to be better, but. You know, offense, we're going to get dumb mistakes, and we got to capitalize. Um, we got to let Dak do Dak things. I mean, you know, it's frustrating that we don't, that, again, I mean, go back to the Jacksonville game. 
go back to the go back to the Giants game. Dak plays better when he plays like that. You know, there's no way out around it. But anyway, this we got we got some good teams heading. We got the Eagles twice. In fact, this Sunday we got New Orleans. We got Atlanta. A couple good offenses. We got. Um, I think we got the Colts as well. Stay here. So we got a rematch with Washington, and now we're gonna need to win. But yeah, so we gotta do this. We gotta. We gotta get this done. And if we cannot get this done, then this coaching staff, I like I said, I'm done. They can't turn it around. I'm done. All right. Mahalo for watching. Paniola boys, and like always, go Cowboys.